I was really quite a social person and I had just taken retirement, intending to join the OIR. I'd all mapped out what I was going to do. I was going to join the walking groups. I was going to learn a language. I was going to do arts and crafts. And suddenly that all changed. Probably about maybe three months after he had his stroke because he was in the hospital for seven months. So I think after three months, you think, oh, this is real. You know, things are not going to get really much better because it was a very sudden thing, Tom taking his stroke. I think being a carer 24-7, you begin to realise this is not what you'd planned for your life, either for me or for Tom. And then you realise that things were going to be very, very different. I mean, I don't have any regrets, but things are very, very different. That was actually the social worker in the hospital that said to me, you know, we'll need to get your name down for Crossroads because you definitely will need help when you get out. And then, as I say, we came out and then a week later the doctor came up to see him and he said again, you will need to see if we can get Crossroads in. They came down to see me. They came down to the house and had a talk and said, you know, I needed to get out and they would, more or less about two weeks later, they were able to get, they'd said I would be allowed two days a week, four hours each day, which at the time I thought, oh, I don't want all that time, I don't, I don't need that. Because I was quite loath to leave Tom, because he was in his bed, unable to do anything at all, and he had to be propped up as well. So I, there was always, I was always worrying. So when I first got Crossroads, I didn't go out the first day. I just sat and I spoke to the guy and I, I told him everything, you know, about Tom and made sure he had my phone number and everything. And then I thought, well, I need to go and do shopping. It was as quick as I could get into the town, get my shopping and get back. And that went on for quite a wee while before I would actually go and do something, you know, for myself. These were things I had to do, go out and get done. Tom didn't want me to go out at all. I think with strokes as well, I was very tearful when I was going to go out. And his speech was quite bad as well, but we got it out of him what his problem was. And he was terrified something would happen to me while I was out. So it was always as quick as I could get out and get back again. There was actually some days where I was really quite tired. I just went to my bed when the carer came in. Again, if that's something you know that you needed to do, the carers were quite happy with that. The difference is now, I'm now able to do something that I want to do. So on a Wednesday morning, I go to an aerobiking class, which I really enjoy. And a Friday morning, I go out walking. And if I've got time for shopping, I do it. If not, I just do it online. Because I do feel now that I'm getting some time, me time, that I just couldn't do without Crossroads at all. They're great.